Yo, what's up? This is Roger, aka Roger Rabbit. I'm here at the Luxor. As you can see the obelisk behind me. Right here in Las Vegas on the strip. Live. Wanna get a couple of shots here so you guys can kind of see. This is what it looks like out here in Las Vegas. This is more towards like the edge of the strip, like Mandalay Bay. Luxor and all that but I'm about to do a program here in a little bit I'll let you know how it goes afterwards kind of excited about it. it should be cool um, I guess biggest reason that I'm gonna be making this video in particular it's just kind of uh, compare like before and after I just kind of want to see what I feel like after I do this kind of shit. Yeah. Because right now I'm at a point where I pretty much... Check this out. Look at this view. That is dope. I'm at a point where I pretty much got everything handled. Uh, I just made $1,100 today sitting on my butt. Not doing nothing but besides maybe smoking weed. Not that hard. Um, I've already paid this month's worth of rent like way early. I've got next month already and a few months i mean at this point i'm i'm good you know what i mean i've got girls in my life i've had sex five out of six days last week something like that it's not bad but uh, we'll see let's see what this brings so basically uh one of the questions that i've been getting asked a lot and this is something that i just kind of like heart back on over and over in particular pretty much just because so many people say the same thing over and over and it just kind of comes back to the same analogy, I guess. <coughs> and that's, uh, that most people, like, they don't really have trouble, per se, other than getting in their own way. I didn't mean to rhyme that, totally, totally, I'm not accident. But, uh, so basically, the uh, biggest thing that I'm running into with people is whenever I get, like, people asking questions about, like, sales or promoting or marketing or uh, relationships and stuff like that, especially relationships in particular, is a lot of people just feel like, how do I get this person to like me? Instead of, like, how do you find the power to like yourself first and just get that going? And, I mean, th this, is the th this is the thing people don't really understand. You have to like you first before you expect anybody else to because if you don't you can't be coming with a half empty cup expecting everybody else around you to fill that up and versely it's actually the opposite you need to be the full cup that's so overflowing with good emotions and positivity that you're so secure in yourself that you know who you are that you're able to lift everybody up around you in a way that makes them feel a little bit better than maybe what they did normally uh, for the most part, a lot of people are in this kind of like negative mindset. If you look up a video, I was actually watching it earlier today, they're talking about like interdimensional shit, but uh, it's like negative shits affecting people a lot. But uh, there's a resurgence of like positive vibes or whatever. I don't know. I'm not like a scientist or anything like that. I'm not gonna pretend that I know all this shit. But basically, uh, just focus on what you actually want, not what you don't want. Because if you're focused on like what you don't want, like oh. I don't want this person to reject me. I don't want to lose this or that or especially like stuff like that. Like the more that you focus on not doing something, the more likely you're going to do it. It's like when you're driving and you focus on trying not to hit the one pole in the middle of a snowy like parking lot. They're like, oh my God, uh, and they go right into it instead of like looking away from it, focus on what you actually want, which is not to hit whatever obstacle it is. I mean, a lot of people talk about that like when they fly helicopters and shit. There's a video, I think Jordan Belfort was talking about it, where he was like flying a helicopter, and it, to steer out of a crash, you have to look up, because like the first few times you, you do it, and you automatically you still look down, look where you're gonna crash, but you have to look up, look where you're actually gonna go. Like the obvious clear, look up. Kind of reminder. My phone's going off here, I'm getting messages. It's cool. Uh, yeah, just keep that in mind, especially like not just uh, your relationships or your sales or business or career or anything like that. I mean, just your day to day because it's, it's easy to get into the habit of having like negative mindsets and shit. And remember, I and mean, it's, it's easy to forget like how lucky we actually have it, how awesome everything here is, how perfect, how everything's just happening the way it's supposed to happen. It's unfolding as it should, as people will say or whatever you want to hear. But I mean, it's essentially like 
you're good enough. You just need to realize that you are and get out of your way and remove all these insecurities that you have about yourself of, I mean, like for me, it would be like, oh, I don't have hair. If anything, like me not having hair is fucking way better than it was when I did have hair. Um, I mean, accentuate whatever it is that you're like insecure about to the point where it's like a strength, you know what I mean? Because that's what a lot of people will like, they're really just afraid, they're afraid, and that's what insecurity is, is more fear than anything. It's a, it's a motivator, and it motivates you not to do stuff, but if you actually can get past that and just accept, like, I'm this, I'm this person, I'm whatever, I look like this, I'm this background, I'm, this stuff happens, this, you know what I mean? Just accept life as it is and just keep going, keep going forward, keep growing, get better a little bit every day. Maybe do a little bit more push-ups than you did the day before. Maybe you run a little bit further than you did the day before. Maybe you make an extra phone call for your sales job. Uh, maybe an extra couple ones instead. Maybe stay an hour later at your job. Maybe you wake up earlier the next day. I mean, whatever it is, you gotta just build that habit, that momentum of positivity, positivity of kicking ass and shit like that. That shit transfers and if you look around me, look where I'm at. Look where it got me. And I'm not nothing special. Like straight up. Anybody that's watching this can be the exact same shit that I've done, if not way better. So I encourage you to try it. See if it works for you. If you have any other questions, I'm going to put some other videos out here too. So subscribe. And this is Rojay Rabbit. Yeah.